Lori Simpkins, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us here at the Filthy Assassin Darts Throwdown Finale. Uh, for those that are unfamiliar, can you explain what Filthy Assassins is, where it started, a little mm -hmm. bit of the origin story? Sure. So Filthy Assassin started, it's a nickname that I got many years ago um, in my hometown and it just stuck and so people have always called me Filthy Assassin, the Filthy Assassin. And so after a few years we decided to brand it. And now you're having the Filthy Assassin throw it on finale, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, what's it like being able to see all these players that support your program come out here and play in these open events? And mm -hmm. to clarify, these are open events other than the championship at the ends. Yes. Uh, it's amazing. Um, I We just appreciate everybody coming out, supporting us, you know, traveling to Wisconsin for the people that have traveled. It's it's. It's just amazing. Yeah, absolutely incredible stuff here. And one of the biggest things that you like to focus on is the women's dart game. Yes. Um, where do you feel like the women's dart game really is nowadays? Do you feel like it's trending upwards? I mean, what are your thoughts on it? It's definitely trending upwards. I, in the probably I would say the last five years, the the talent that yeah that's there now, which it's amazing. Now, as a tournament director, do you uh, obviously you did the dabble in playing a little bit? But mm -hmm. I mean. Do you miss playing when you're directing tournaments or do you miss directing tournaments when you're playing? How does that work? Uh, I definitely miss playing. It's very hard to not play when everybody's out there. So yeah, that's it's a struggle for me a little bit. And of course, you also have all these Philly Assassin players mm -hmm. that you guys put on the teams and sponsor. Mm -hmm. um, what's it like when you get to see your sponsor players do these performances, these runs at different tournaments across the country? Uh, proud is all I can say. It's amazing. Um, I, I can't say enough about our team, honestly. I'm, I'm very, very proud of our team. And then uh, on top of that all, uh, you know, someone decides to pick up darts and start throwing tomorrow. Maybe they watch one of the matches out here. Maybe they're a young lady that was inspired by some of the players that you had on your very sh stream here. Um, what advice would you give to those young players? I would say um, just keep at it. It's, it's a very frustrating game for all of us. Um, everybody starts somewhere. And if you really enjoy it and you're having fun, stay at it and eventually it all come together. And last question here, what's next for Filthy Assassin Darts? Well, we have some stuff coming up in 2025. We're going to make a few tweaks and changes, but uh, we have some exciting stuff that I'm not quite ready to come out with. But, come on, uh, you, you can, you can, come on, give us a sneak preview, give us something. Um, more events, All let's right. just say that. Okay. <laughs> looking forward to it. Things are looking bright for Filthy Assassin yeah. Darts, especially going into 2025. Mm -hmm. We're having a great time out here in Cern Event, Wisconsin. So thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate it.